Right, now Hasura has been configured with Auth0. So let's test this setup by making a login request to Auth0 and let's get a token so that we can make GraphQL queries with the Auth token and test the permissions. Let me go to the Auth0 application and disable the OAuth setting which is OIDC conformant to make a query to get the token. I'll head back and I open this query where I replace the auth domain with the domain of the application which is learn.hasra. And I change the client ID to the current application's client ID. And finally, I change the callback URL to point to a local host URL. This need not exist, but we just need to give a callback URL so that the response comes back from mod zero. All right. Now let me make a sign up request. I'll say Praveen plus learn at hasra.io and I'll give a password and I have signed up. Now if you can see the callback URL is, is a local host URL which doesn't exist but the important part is the ID token that you see here in the URL. We need to copy this ID token and use it in our app in the console to make queries. So now let's head back to the Hasura console. All right, here we need to enter the admin secret since we have configured Hasura with the JOT secret when we, are, when we had configured Auth0. Right, I'll enter my admin secret. All right, now I'm logged into my Hasura console with the admin secret. But what the admin secret lets you do is to make all queries without any restriction. Now I've got the auth token from auth0. So let me paste this auth token and make another query which will mimic the permissions that I have set. I'll add a new authorization header and I will remove the admin secret. So now let's start making queries to see if this is working. ID title. All right. Now I've made a simple query called to do's, but I'm getting a response as empty since the user that I've logged in as doesn't have any to do's under his name. Now let's go to data and see if the user is registered. Now remember the auth0 rule that we wrote to make a mutation into our user's table whenever a user signs up or logs in, right? So this is the user that I've just signed up with Auth0 and this is the Auth0 ID that is stored here. So the user's data is in sync right now. This user doesn't have any to-dos right now. So I'm not able to fetch any to-dos using the query. So, so let me copy this user ID and create a new to-do for this user ID. My personal to-do and I'll say the user ID as Auth0 ID. All right, now this row has been inserted. Now let's go to graphical and test this query with the same authorization header. Now you can see the to-do data in the response, which belongs to the user who's making this query with the auth token. Similarly, we can make a query to the user's table and fetch all the users since we don't have any restriction on the user's table. 